our Sulam Alikim. It's part of our expression of sorrow and of our hope following the terrorist attack in Christchurch. I have invited Imam Nizam Al-Haq Tanvi to say a prayer. He will do so in Arabic and then it will be repeated in English by Tahir Nawaz. Following this, my colleague Adrian Rudrafe will say the parliamentary prayer in Te Reo, and it will be repeated by Anne Tolley in English. Mr Tanvi. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والسمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين These verses are called the verses of patience which provide comfort and reassurance, here is the translation of these verses. O oh, all who believe, ask for help with patience and prayers. Verily, God is with people who are patient. And do not call those who are killed in the way of God as dead. In fact, they are alive, but you do not realize this. And indeed, we will test you with something, fear, hunger, loss of wealth, lives and fruits, and give glad tidings to those who are patient in trial. When those who afflicted with calamity say, Verily, we belong to God, and truly to him we shall return. <coughs> o oh Lord, our Honorable Prime Minister has said that Friday, 15th of March, was, this was one of the darkest days in New Zealand's history. O oh Lord, Make this day a source of light for this country and the entire world. The light which unites us all as one family. O oh Lord, our Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Governor General, Speaker of the House, many other MPs, the police, mayors of Wellington, Christchurch and other cities, medical staff in Christchurch, other organizations and religious groups 
and all New Zealanders have dedicated their time and effort to help and support us. O oh Lord, I ask you to help and bless them all and reward them accordingly. O oh Lord, we ask you to accept those who lost their lives as martyrs and give them the highest position in paradise. O oh Lord, we ask you to give full recovery to all those who were injured. O oh Lord, we ask you to grant patience and hope to all the family members affected by this tragedy. O oh Lord, we ask you to protect New Zealand and the whole world from such calamities. Amen. Amen.